support to us. We've had the best crowds we've ever had during the show. Butch, thank you again for joining us uh, tonight. And Fred, I turn it over to you to lead the festivities. Okay, thank you. I guess I don't need to use this. Um, this is it's a pleasure to be here in, in these circumstances for sure. And uh, and talking to people, uh, <clears throat> uh, earlier today and this evening and whenever they've asked me, well, how did you ever get? How did you get to know Butch in the first place? And here's what I remember. I was working at the Columbus Museum, <clears throat> and I got a call from a guy who had a little store, roadside store, down uh, between Phoenix City and Eufaula at, uh, what's the name Bits of it? Bitsview, Alabama. His name's Frank Turner. Frank was the self-proclaimed mayor of Bitsview. Anyway, one afternoon I was in my office and I got a call and it was Frank Turner and he said, Fred, I got these three nuts down here. He <laughs> said, so these, these guys are, keep bringing this stuff in and, and it all started when one of them was plowing up his garden and he plowed up a sweet potato that had a face in it. A turnip, not a turnip. A turnip, a turnip. <laughs> you got a and he said, and another one of them made a drawing of that turnip with a face in it. And as a joke, we put it in my shop with a price of $50 on it. And somebody came along and bought it. <laughs> and he said, this was a complete sur surprise to me. And now they're bringing in all this stuff. And I want to make sure I do right by them. So I, I don't, I'd like for you to come down here and see it and kind of give me some advice about how I, as the handler of this artwork, should deal with it. Is that the way you remember? Yeah. So what happened then? Well. Use your still... microphone. Oh. <laughs> it's on. Yeah, well. Maybe it's not. Frank put that first painting in the window down there. We just put it in there for a joke. And the next day, some guy came along and bought it for $50. And then like, I started painting stuff with John Henry and stuck it in there. And the next day, somebody came along and bought that one. Your mic but the, needs to be turned on. Uh-oh. Hold that red button. Maybe. I'll try it, man. You turned it on, Fred. <laughs> Give me yours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that says, yeah, yeah, yours good. work. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then that shit, the guy that bought the first painting was a famous chef from Atlanta, and he had a, a famous lady that wrote a cookbook in there, and Edna Lewis, and she and I went to the post office about three months ago and got some stamps and there's Edna Lewis's face on the U.S. Post Office stamp. <laughs> she bought the first painting from us. Uh, she was like a famous chef in Atlanta. And this chef bought the first painting. And this John yeah, the, the other artists were, it was Butch and John Henry Tony and, and Buddy, Buddy Snipes. Snipes. Yeah, and he made things out of roots. Because when he was little, he didn't have any money for toys and stuff and he would make toys out of roots and stuff out in the yard and give all to the kids out in the community in Forumville, which is down near Birchboro, Alabama. And uh, he made all the toys for all the kids out there. And he just kept making them as he got 50, 60 years old and he's still making toys. So I used to buy junk from him and he had all these weird things and I'd take them to Frank like look at this crazy stuff this man's making and like what the hell is that and we'd put it in the store and people would come by and buy it we didn't know what folk art was and stuff until we met Fred and he was <laughs> I keep telling them it's not folk art or it's whatever. something else I'm not sure what <laughs> <laughs> well, Butch, one of the things that I see have seen over the years that you've you've invented your own way of making art, and you call it 
Yeah. In a twangalism. Oh, yeah. Well, we started going to all these shows with all these folk art people. And I was like, well, I ain't really in with them folk art people. So I said, I want to make my own ism up. Intertwangalism. <laughs> Who's made up a word? The, the the first ones of the twangalism pieces I saw, I know there was one piece that was in a an exhibit that I put together for the, the LaGrange Museum. And it was all the parts of a person broken down into elements. The the uh, the veins, the nerves, the, the bones. The spirit, the shadow, uh, all these different parts were parts of, of the intertwinable person.
And the first one of the long quotes I saw was at the uh, the uh, center, the art center in Charleston, South Carolina. The halls of gallery was it's beautiful, and everybody loved it. Well, that was 26, Somebody was telling me earlier that they have one that has a number, like number 231, but you don't really do that anymore. We do. Which is kind of a they make a complete survey. <laughs> when he's blessed doing that, I wonder if it's better with the your computer. Maybe you try that. I can't see. Well, tell me a little bit about how you go about finding all the materials that you use to make this. What's the audio here? Right here. I don't know, it looks good in Hallie's. And he, he'll talk about it. 
<laughs> Somehow I never did get down there to get a hot dog, but then it's right turn in the seat and that's when we can stand there. Oh. And then there was a uh, uh, John Henry Tony who was a seat car about that. There was another hot dog. Yeah. 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 Not on. How do you turn it on? Anybody got questions? Yeah, I plug it. Plug it back in. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> John Henry Tony uh, was one of the three nuns was uh, in the yeah, of the term. He was out of flying with his daughter one day. And they came down out of the sky and they went in front of them. And then he picked it up and the captain and he said, he told the witch, said, Butch, I got me a two way track. And that was the origin of the term two man for an event that happened well in the top. That was exactly weird that happened in the bathroom. Is that it? Uh, it's not it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know it's going up? It's it should be up. Is um so like see how it's going down now? That's up all the way. Mm, sorry, if no, please, please. Happens all the way up. <laughs> Okay, so that will wrap up. Sure, because the echo obviously can be loud. Yeah, I don't know why she's being so quiet. <laughs> she has a hard time. I wish I brought my Yeah. I wish we used it to play like loud with music. But I don't know if they're just I pay attention to you. One being uh, less white, who was. Probably the most well known. And this, he filmed you off and on for several years. Yeah. And his son now is coming over the top. And there's another thing that's something that we made him John. Uh, uh, where were you at? <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Mary saved the day. There we go. Hi, I'm Eliza. I'm Mary. Nice oh, to meet you. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to be out. Thank you. Pull up a chair. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Where, where did you put that? The one. Just to be now that um, not easier, it's higher. Yeah, it's meant to mom's hand up. We're going to shut it up. April 6th, we can put it in. Little Alexa, she's just can't do it. I'll ask a question. Good time. Good time. We didn't record it. No, it's not recording. Oh, shit. Wasn't there a story about a baby that was found in the top years? Oh, who's Hallie yet? Did she you press know, record? Okay. 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 Okay.
Sounds like an old time. <laughs> yourself and be like, oh, I'm going to, this is a piece of work and I'm going to sell it. Or this is a, or I'm going to decide to make a piece today. But how does that work for you? Because it just seems like you would have been. No, I get up here in the morning. Three fifty seven. I get up early so nobody follows me. I think it's something I am. I'm not a fan. I thought it's one thing at a time. Every night. It's been in the last year. I mean, what I do. This depends on what I got. I've got my mind on some people. Maybe um, running out of broad subjects, so that we want people to bring me on. Can I ask a follow up real quick? Yeah. What's the best piece of junk you've ever had? Uh, like, what's the best, you like, get the gotcha? Besides the natural, you know, they have a weird thing, so they try to bring it another day with it. Well, 
Well, if you've had a couple of uh, long courts and exhibitions in England and London, yes. what, what people in Great uh, Britain think about you? And the guys from the Netherlands are they're just astounded. So it should be. That's that's an experience. Oh, 
and very generously they could we can actually go side of that and even if you are for two days personally including his cabinet periodically <laughs> back up here. Uh, but then uh, about a month after we started thinking about this, there was a picture of dress just like this in our bottle in Magic Beach. I said, okay, we're going to get it in here quick because that camera was that angle of fit from that door. He said, you shouldn't have that in our bottle. I should have known because I've known a good enough bottle to get here too. Our bottle is going to change the book. Thank you all for coming here. It's a beautiful, beautiful bone quilt at the Martin Center right now. And on, I think it's Thursday, April 6th, on the, on the movie case, specialized documentary with the new screen for the CAT camera. Totally, totally encourage you to go see that because they're going to be wonderful. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for doing it. Thank you. 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 Relaxing. I'm good. How are you? Awesome. All right. I think I can stop now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.